Now, personally, I have never seen or heard anyone talk about this. It's something that I have sort of thought of and begun to implement with my own YouTube videos and sort of what I've planned on implementing in the future for my channel. And the biggest secret is if you've lived somewhat of an experienced life, if you've done things in your past, if you're not a 14 year old kid, if you're like me, you're 19 years old, you're 20 years old, you're 25 years old, and you want to start making content and you want to start putting yourself out there, then the best thing you can do is go onto your camera roll and just start scrolling back. The further you scroll back, the better, because you get to sort of see what you were like back then. You get to remember, man, I can't believe I was like this just a year ago. I can't believe I was doing these things two years ago. Oh, I remember when I did that three years ago. And because of this, you start to get all these ideas and past memories. And I genuinely believe that basically every single photo uh, you have on your camera roll, you probably could tell a story about, right? Maybe if you have like 30 photos of the same night, then you probably can't tell a story about each of those photos. But every sort of different photo you have on there, you can 100% tell a story. And if you can actually tell a story about that, then you can 100% sort of relate lessons into that. And with those lessons that you've learned, you can sort of share how you were at the beginning, this sort of person, and through the experience, through the story, came out on the other side and became a different person. And it is 100% the best way to tell stories, come up with video content ideas, and share sort of your progression, your journey, what you used to think, what you now think, and how you came about that. And then what's even better is for the majority of these video ideas that you come up with, like you could 100% just sort of, you know, each photo, you could just airdrop it. And with these, you can actually use them as your thumbnail. Obviously, some of them are probably going to be quite clickbaity. You know, you might have a girl on there. You might have you and your boys doing something stupid. They're going to be a lot more clickbaity than some other bland ones. But you can sort of pick and choose a few that you do want to use, don't want to use, and sort of pick the best one that you think will ultimately help with the marketing and getting the most impressions on your YouTube channel. And when you've got this sort of thumbnail done, you've got the story you can tell, what you learn, and then all you have to do is come up with a catchy title. So basically for me, all I do is I go back, I see something, oh, I remember that night. What happened on that night? Okay, this happened, this happened. How can I sort of work about the best way to tell my story? And then from that, you can actually sort of, I guess, um, backtrack and come up with your title, something catchy. You want to work on your marketing first. Once you're marketing, your thumbnail and your video title are super catchy, super clickbaity, then you can work on actually delivering the value in those YouTube videos. And this is sort of what Hamza talks about in his own online course, Adonis School, which I'm a part of, and it 100% makes sense. That's really the process that you need to take. So, yeah. If you're looking to make content, if you're struggling and you just want to share about your life, you don't have a very specific niche yet, this is 100% the best thing you can do because it can help generate so many different video ideas for you to be able to talk about. And, you know, after you've made your 100th video, you can sort of go back and analyze, okay, these six videos got more than 4,000 views. What did I do here that was different to everything else? And then from there, you can sort of start re-refining your niche and sort of narrowing it down and yeah get to a point where you're consistently making videos that are doing really well so that's all i had to say next week's videos are going to be much better so hope to see you on monday